9th at the Desert Diamond Arena in Glendale, Arizona, brought to you by Top Rank Boxing in association with No Limit Boxing. The entire card will be streamed exclusively on ESPN Plus in the United States. Our main event featuring Mexican warrior and former two division world champion Oscar Valdez taking on Australian former world title challenger Liam Wilson in a 10 round main event. And our co-main event presented by Top Rank in association with Golden Boy Promotions and Marv Nation will be an undisputed championship fight. A four belt queen will be crowned for the first time in history at minimum weight when the WBC, WBA, and Ring Magazine champion, Sanisa Superbad Estrada, takes on WBO and IBF champion, Yocasta Valle, as they battle for undisputed. That is our co-main event Friday, March 29th. The entire card is stacked from top to bottom. We have a ton of uh, talent, unbeaten contenders, such as uh, Raymond Danger Morataya is on the undercard, and some rising prospects, uh, like Richard Torres Jr. is on the card, and also uh, the young man on my stage to the right here, Emiliano Fernando Vargas, the undefeated lightweight prodigy. Uh, tickets are on sale now on Ticketmaster. If you can join us in Glendale, Arizona, we would love to see you. The tickets are moving quickly, but get on Ticketmaster and buy your tickets. If you can't join us uh, Friday the 29th in Arizona, watch on ESPN+. On the stage with me now is Emiliano, Sinisa, Oscar Valdez, and then Bob Aram, Oscar De La Hoya, and Yocasta Valle. Thank you all for being here with me today. It's such a pleasure to be back up here doing this with you all. And um, Bob, do you have your mic? No. Are we sharing? All right. Hey, we've done this once or twice before, so we'll share. So Bob, um, just in totality, this card, top to bottom, entertaining fights, undisputed in our co-main event, I mentioned some of the young talent on the undercard. Just your thoughts on the event that we are bringing out to Glendale on the 29th of March. I think this is one of the best fight cards of the year. I mean, really great talented fighters, uh, very competitive fights. Uh, I really think uh, the fans uh, have a, a real treat in store, particularly those people living in Glen Glendale, Arizona, and the vicinity, because they are really rabid fight fans, uh, and they'll turn out like they have before, maybe even more. Uh, we expect a full house uh, on uh, March 29th. Now, Bob, one of your greatest successes was promoting the man here to my left, Oscar De La Hoya. And now you sit here together as promoters, as you've done for the last, what, 20 years now? Probably you've been promoting 22 um, years. Uh, so now you're going to promote a historic card in women's boxing in the co-main event. What's it like to work with Oscar now in this promoter sense? Well, I don't know if Oscar could beat either woman. <laughs> it's probably. You better hope you could beat either one of those ladies. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's really a pleasure to have Oscar uh, be involved with Oscar again on this card. And uh, uh, after this press conference is over, Oscar and I are going to make a big bet because my lady will beat your lady. <laughs> and, and, and we're, we're very confident. And to have Oscar Valdez back uh, in, uh, you know, in his home uh, state away from Mexico, is a real privilege and to have uh, great young fighters like Vargas, uh, like Tories, uh, it's going to be a terrific show and I can't wait uh, for it to happen. I agree and, and Oscar, let me bring you in here for a minute. Kind of the same question with Bob. I mean, coming up boxing with him now, being a promoter, promoting what is going to be a historic co-main event on that card. Uh, I, I've been following you in your career and your promoter career, and you've been talking about wanting to get with all the promoters, make the mm -hmm. best fights in boxing happen. You guys had a meeting with uh, various promoters most recently, and, and here we are with, with one right. of the biggest fights in women's boxing that can be made. So, like, Well, yeah. I that. mean, for, first of all, let me say, Bob Arum, you're a legend. You are an amazing, amazing person, amazing promoter. And what you've done and what you're still doing in the sport is incredible. It's very admirable, um, you know, and so I, I really feel honored, privileged. 
I mean, Emiliano, I've always said, you're, I mean, he's the man there. He is the man. I, I, I love his style. I love what, what Top Rank and Bob and everyone's doing with Emiliano. Um, there's nobody better than Bob Arum, that's for sure. Um, and, and what can I say about uh, being next to Oscar Valdez? A warrior, he's a, he's a fighter who just, he, he always comes in with so much passion. You know, and um, his work ethic is, is, is by far one of the best that I've seen. And so uh, this, is, this can be, you know, the beginning of something really big for him as well because he's had such a great career, but it's not over. It's just the beginning. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty privileged here to, to be, be sitting here with uh, amongst, amongst the greats here. Um, yeah, we're very happy to be working with Bob Arum again in top rank and, and making fights happen. I think this fight here was was a fight that had to happen. I believe there's a lot of animosity towards uh, with both, and, and and there's a lot of there's a lot of competition, and and the titles are at stake, and this is history in the making. I mean, once again, Bob is making history. It's incredible. After so many years, Bob continues to give us the best fights, the best events. And uh, literally, all I want to do is be like Bob when I grow up. So <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's really it's really happy to 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 work with Bob and and make this fight happen uh, because the fans deserve it. The fans need it. Sure. Uh, it doesn't get much bigger in boxing than undisputed, and we'll get to that undisputed co-main event in just a minute. But uh, you mentioned Emiliano Vargas. He's joining us here on the stage. Hi, Emiliano. How are you? How you doing? How you doing? Nice to see you. Eight and seven knockouts. Uh, a heck of a 2023 for you. ESPN Knockouts Prospect of the Year, uh, top ranked fighter to watch, voted by the fans. How would you sum up what this last year has been like for you? I just, I really want to thank Bob Arum yourself, you know, for giving me the platform to, you know, perform on these big stages. You know, it's, it's such a blessing to, you know, not only fight on the biggest stages, but in my hometown, you know, and um, we're just looking to be among the conversation of all these great champions that are next to me and uh you know just it, it, it excites me and it, and it really you know gets me going because i, I do want to be in her position and his position and an oscar's position you know and um you know a kid can dream and uh, those dreams with hard work they they become truth they become they come to fruition so i'm just very very grateful to be here you know this is another opportunity march 29th to showcase my skills in front of all my beautiful fans a todo mi raza allá en glendale arizona la finiquera gracias por el apoyo um y ahí vamos pelea por pelea fight by fight we'll get there you know god has been great man so i'm just looking to be you know uh you know oscar fought 13 times in one year you know and and that was that was amazing so i I aspire to stay busy, stay active, and uh, really shoot for that world title that I know would be mine. They don't make too many like that anymore, 13 fights in a year. We're lucky we get three or four, right? Well, you've had six in the last year, and uh, a handful of those, well, not a handful, but two or, two or three of them have been in the same arena where your fight on uh, the 29th. The audience seems to show up early and show out for you, being able to fight there. Obviously, fans of your father first, and now you and your brothers. What does it mean to fight there back in Arizona? Um, you know, just being there in, in Arizona, I love, I love fighting in Arizona. Uh, the fans are amazing. Uh, you feel the emotion, especially the last time I was out there, you know, there was, there was some talking going back and forth and, uh, you know, uh, Mexican fans don't like that. So they like, they like for me to go over there and shut them up. And, and that's what the sport is about. You know, um, if a man thinks he could beat me, uh, let's see, you know, so I'm um, just looking forward to another great performance and another win in front of my beautiful Linda, Arizona fans. I'm sure they're looking forward to seeing you as well. Thank you for joining us today, Emiliano. Anything you'd like to say quickly in Spanish to your fans? Tell them to get the tickets to come out early. Um, no, pues eh, a mi raza, gracias. Otra vez, gracias. Eh, tanto apoyo cada vez que, que, que me subo a la ring. Y, y pues, um, no, uh, estamos listos. Estamos listos a, a, ahorita. Y pues, um, gracias. Eh. Thank you so much, Emiliano. Let's give it up for him. Go ahead. We have an audience here. <laughs> he deserves it. He deserves it. He's been putting in the work. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I'm sure Vegas would love to have you back here soon it's, as well. It's not the sergeant, not the corporal, not the captain, but the general. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to him. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, we're going to skip over the ladies for now because I, I know that tension's getting heated, but we're going to get to uh, the fighter in our main event that's here sitting to my right and next to Bob, Oscar Valdez, uh, taking on um, Liam Wilson that night in a Schedule 10 rounder, junior lightweight, uh, back to Desert Diamond Arena. Uh, last time you were there, you faced, it was your last fight, in fact, against Emmanuel Navarrete. Uh, what a fight. That was a tremendous fight. Uh, hats off to you, kudos to you and uh, Navarrete Vaquero for that fantastic fight. Um, what have you taken away from that fight? What have you put in work in the gym to kind of get you ready to go back to that very same place and get back into the win column come March 29th? I want to first start by saying um, I thank you, Bob Arum, for, for making this happen, for making thank you top rank, and to say that I feel blessed to be here. I feel blessed sitting against these legends, Bob Arum and Oscar De La Hoya. I feel just blessed. And I feel blessed to be in this card. You know, these amazing fighters here next to me, it's, I feel that I'm in their card now. I feel that's the main event. Sanisa and, and Valle, it's, it's gonna be a tremendous fight, so. We can change just, it if you want. <laughs> do, you, do, you want to, do you want them to fight for <laughs> the man's right? I wanna see that fight. That's one fight I wanna see. <laughs> You'll be in the locker room watching, I'm I feel, sure. Like I said, I feel blessed. And I definitely learned a lot from my last fight. You know, uh, we made mistakes. We're only human. We made mistakes inside the ring. Sometimes we go with a game plan. Sometimes that game plan doesn't that game plan doesn't work. We also forget that also the opponent is, you know, studying you and working on his scrap for, for for the fight. So you can only work so hard. I, w I always work hard. Doesn't matter for what fight it is. I will always work hard, no matter what. But something I can learn is sometimes you don't have to work that hard. You got to work smarter. Mm train smarter, meditate, and focus on the game plan. And that's something that I've been doing. You know, I, I feel like I got a great team. I got my manager, Frank Espinosa. I got my trainer, Eddie Reynoso. You know, Carlos Barragan. I got my cousin, Bubba. It's, I, my father's with me. And it's, I, I truly believe we got a strong team. But at the end of the day, who's inside the ring is me. Who needs to be focused is me and someone who needs to stick to the game plan. You know, I grew up watching fighters like Fernando Vargas, Oscar De La Hoya, Eric Morales, Marco Antonio Barrera, Juan Manuel Marquez, and all these guys, if there's one word that can describe them, they're warriors. So I was inspired by these fighters. And I've always tried to kind of imitate them inside the ring, give them my all and give, give the fans what they want. But that sometimes doesn't work in my favor. I want to continue doing that, and I, I promise that's what I'm going to do in my next fight. I'm going to give them my best to give the fans what they want. But I'm also focused on just winning the fight. Give the fans what they want, but just win. Well, Bob, I would say that anybody who's tuned in to watch an Oscar Valdez fight is entertained no matter what. He just mentioned those Mexican legends, and he, he wants his name mentioned along the likes of later. He's well on his way. Sometimes they're entertained too much. I remember that fight uh, uh, outdoors uh, when it was raining like hell. You were fighting this Brit guy who broke your jaw, and you and you ended up just winning it down the stretch and beating him. I mean, that's entertaining, but I don't want you to do it again. <laughs> he's, asking, he's telling you, he's giving you some advice there. I mean, we know we, your, your heart has been on display that no one's been ever well, able to question well, what you're able to do, but Liam Wilson is a solid opponent, war title challenger. I dropped Navarrete. Obviously, you both came on a losing in in that fight, but He's coming in with a chip on his shoulder as well and wants to get back to another opportunity, but he's going to have to go through you first. Well, that's every fighter's dream. One step closer to the world title and, try and to become a world champion. That's every fighter's dream. So, of course, he's taking this fight very seriously. So am I. You know, um, I respect Liam Wilson as a fighter, as a person. But inside that ring, I'm going to try to knock his head off. I'm, I'm going to do my best to win the fight and, 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 and just win because I know that Winning this fight will give me a step closer to the, for the world title shot. And I really, really miss being a world champion. I miss feeling, feeling proud of myself and saying I'm a world champion and representing my country. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to, to get, to get what, I, what I need, which is, which is the world title shot and to become a world champion again. Well, Oscar, you and I have been doing this for a long time up here, over 10 years now. And uh, not only are you a world champion human being, you're a world champion no matter what, two divisions over. No one can ever take that away from you regardless. So I know you want that belt back, but you're an A-plus human. I appreciate you being here with us. And um, I'll let the ladies, I, 
we'll circle back with you right before it's <laughs> over, but they've been patiently waiting here. So I appreciate you, Oscar, so much and your whole team. Thank you. Um, all right. Everybody ready? Got your popcorn ready? The lady. Hey, Sanisa, how are you? Good. You ready? Yocasta? I'm ready. Estamos lista? Sí. Lista? Um, let's start with Yocasta. Gabe, you're going to help us translate. I appreciate you. Uh, the three of us uh, shot a show this morning, and there was no lack of uh, tension or bad blood, if you will, amongst these ladies. And I'd like for you to tell the audience from your perspective uh, kind of where the animosity um, has come from between Sinisa and yourself, Yocasta. Yocasta, grabamos un, grabamos un programa en la mañana y había mucha tensión, lanzaron provocaciones, entonces platícales a todos, ¿de dónde viene ese rencor entre ti y Cenice Estrada? Eh, bueno, primero buenas tardes, muchísimas gracias por estar aquí, emocionada y bueno, primero agradecerle Golden Boy, Top Brand por hacer posible esta gran pelea, créame que no lo vamos a decepcionar, campeona versus campeona y bueno, yo no tengo nada personal, simplemente quiero convertirme en campeona absoluta, Quiero ser Andy Spirit, entonces Cinesa tiene dos títulos y eso es lo que he estado buscando, no a Cinesa, simplemente buscar los títulos mundiales que ha estado, lo he estado haciendo durante muchos años, mucho trabajo, he subido en divisiones, eh, subí a 108, bajé a 105 para, por convertirme en campeón absoluto y bueno, aquí estamos a un solo un paso, más que emocionada. First of all, good afternoon to everybody, thank you all for being here. I'm very excited. Thank you to Golden Boy and Top Rank for making this great fight possible. And believe me, I'm not going to disappoint. Champion versus champion. This is nothing personal. I just want to be a champion. I want to be undisputed. Senisa has two titles. That's what I'm looking for. Not her. Simply the world titles is what I'm looking for. And that's what I've been working for for many years. Uh, working hard, moving up to, Z to divisions 108, 105, all to become undisputed. And we're one step away. We're here. And I'm excited. We are one step away, and in order for Yocasta to become undisputed, she's got to take on the other unified champion in the minimum weight division, Senisa Estrada. And Senisa, uh, for you, Yocasta has made it clear that the fight is not very personal for her because simply you're the one with the other two belts, and she wants your belts. What, what do you say about that? Yeah, uh, what is first it for you? of all, I want to thank my promoter, Bob Arum, in top rank for making the fight happen. Thank you, Oscar, and Golden Boy Promotions as well for um, getting us to this point. And um, yeah, it's not personal for her, but it's personal for me for many reasons. Um, and I'm, I'm competitive, I'm hungry to become undisputed. This is the fight that I've been trying to make and wanting to make since I was with Golden Boy Promotions um, around the time that they maybe first signed me. Um, I wanted to make this fight happen because I wanted to become undisputed. So uh, I'm just excited and fucking hungry to become undisputed and I can't wait for March 29th. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that guy, Bobby, you like a little drop of the F-bomb there. <laughs> but um, you said it's personal for several reasons. I'm going to poke a little bit more there so that people can kind of understand what, what's uh, built up that inside of you. What are those reasons? Um, I mean, it's clear that I was promoted by Golden Boy Promotions, of course, and then uh, Via um, always saying in interviews that I'm ducking and that I'm running from her, which is completely false because there's never been any effort from her side to make the fight happen. It's always been from my side since the beginning. Um, I told Golden Boy Promotions about her. That's how they knew about her. So um, I wanted it from the start, never ducking. Uh, Oscar, I'm going to bring you in here now. Uh, it seems like as much as back and forth who reached out to who first or how long the fight has been maybe now you know five years in the making it doesn't seem like there's any better of a time than right now especially with the current climate in women's boxing to make this fight happen and to have undisputed versus undisputed so as much marinating or whatever word that boxing media wants to use right. the time is right right now would you agree yeah no i agree a thousand percent i think um i think women's boxing is is it just continues to to elevate to evolve it continues to uh, to get bigger and better um, and and that's what it's all about you know I mean the focus has always been on men's boxing throughout the history of the sport and now that you know Sanisa and Yocasta and other all the other women who are just putting on some spectacular performances I mean people are 
paying attention. People are starting to see and realize and recognize that that women's boxing is uh, is getting better and it's here to stay. So might as well make these big fights. And this is what I've always been preaching all along is working with promoters. And there's no other promoter, let me tell you that, uh, than Bob Arum who loves working with other promoters to make the big fights happen. So I'm glad we came together to have the first ever unified, you know, champion uh, tomorrow. So uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna open doors for for women's boxing, and and it's uh, it's it, it really is a privilege to be part of it uh, alongside uh, Bob Arum, who's leading this this charge here. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great fight. Nothing personal. It's never personal, but uh, I'm sure when uh, when they're both up in the ring, it's gonna it's gonna be fireworks. That's for sure. Yeah. Yo, Costa, have you thought about what that moment's going to be like? Oftentimes when I talk to fighters, they visualize the fight. They visualize how it starts, the middle, the end, what that moment is going to feel like when they say, and new, undisputed. Have you thought about what that moment's going to be like, and how do you see the fight playing out? Yo, Costa, ¿has pensado en el momento en que vas a ingresar al, al cuadrilátero? Uh, muchas veces he hablado con peleadores y, y, y peleadoras y les he preguntado cómo visualizan la pelea, cómo se van a sentir cuando ingresen al, al cuadrilátero. Entonces, ¿has pensado en eso? ¿Cómo te vas a sentir? ¿Y cómo se va a sentir escuchar y la nueva campeona indiscutible? Por supuesto que lo he visualizado. Todas las peleas siempre lo visualizo. Eh, saliendo, la música con que voy a salir, toda la gente gritando y ya... Dios primero todo se dé, subir las manos y ya escuchar, campeón absoluta, Yocasta Valle de Costa Rica, eso va a ser, bueno, increíble y yo sé que sí, estoy a un paso de convertirlo, entrenando obviamente fuerte, eh, no solo decirlo de palabras, sino trabajarlo y yo voy a hablar en el ring. Of course I visualize it. I visualize all of my fights from the walking out, the music I'm going to have, all the people screaming. And God willing, all that's left after that is for me to raise my hands and for them to say, and you, undisputed champion, Yocasta Valle from Costa Rica. So it's going to be incredible. And it's only one step away. I'm training hard. And, I'm and it's not just words. I'm working hard as well. And I'm going to do my talking in the ring. Well, that's just the... Just a dream and just an image, because that ain't happening. <laughs> I'm walking out of the ring, undisputed champion of the world, 100% guarantee. Well, what does that win mean to you, Sinisa? I, I mean, I've covered your career, and I, the last couple of fights followed your career the entire time. It seems like the stakes for you have never been bigger. This is a dream come true for you, the opportunity to fight for undisputed. In many weight classes is what you'd like to do. Um, that night, they say, and new, undisputed. You talk about, I'm going to beat her. I'm going to beat her trainer. I'm going to beat Golden Boy Promotions. You said that that night in the ring after your fight. What would that win mean to you? It would mean everything. It will um, just solidify that I am one of the best pound for pound champions um, in women's boxing. And I just, I don't want to be known as just a great f female fighter. I want to be known as a great fighter in general. I don't want to be categorized. So I just hope to gain uh, many fans that night by becoming undisputed. And my goal is also to be undisputed in multiple weight classes. So after that, I'll probably move up, uh, whether it's to flyweight or light flyweight, and try to do the same there as well. Well, we're looking forward to it. Bob, yes. Yeah. You know, I, I want to thank uh, Oscar personally uh, for helping make this fight happen. Uh, this, this fight is great for boxing. It's two spectacular fighters going to be fighting uh, on the same card as one of my favorite fighters, Oscar Valdez. <laughs> and it's going to be a great, great night for boxing. And uh, Oscar, you know, whoever wins the fight, I'm bringing a box of Cuban cigars. And we'll smoke them after the event, right? I'll bring the whiskey. Well, you'll bring the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> right. can, I, can I just say out of, uh, can I just yeah, say something? Go ahead, Oscar. Look, this is a fight. This is this is an amazing, amazing fight against two incredible women who give it their all inside the ring. That's never that's never a doubt whatsoever. But I, I just I just have to say, I get enough hate like all over the world. Can we just like smoke the peace pipe? <laughs> you guys go at it. I don't, don't, don't <laughs> you guys go at it. But. 
look, this is what it's all about. I mean, at the end of the day, they're going to put on, I can't even say how great of a fight it's going to be. Um, and that's what it's all about. So I, you know, thank you, Bob. Yeah. Appreciate that very much. And thank you for making the fight happen as well. Um, and it's just going to be, like, like you said, Christina, and like Oscar said, there's, even though there's been a buildup and it's been years in the making, no better time than right now to make it happen because women's boxing is, um, at, of course, the best stage it's ever been at. So I'm glad that it's happening now. Agreed. I'm very excited. Uh, Oscar Valdez, let me, you got two Oscars up here. Um, just your thoughts on the two, the two ladies fighting too. I mean, like you said, you're, you're okay if we, maybe we switch some things around and put them in the main event. <laughs> but one, my boss is like, no, no. <laughs> that's definitely one fight that I have to see. I mean, it's one of these fights that you don't have to sell it. Because I know you're a boxing don't. fan. You respect the warrior in both yeah, of these yeah, ladies, yeah. you know? Great, yeah. great fighters, so. That's definitely one fight that everybody should see. And you can feel the tension. I'm right here. I'm, I'm I'm kinda, I, I feel, feel like too. she's going to throw a punch. And, I, uh, <laughs> I'll take this out. You're good. Just okay. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, stay tuned. We, we shot a show with both of these ladies earlier today uh, called Talk That Talk, and that's going to debut closer to the fight and, uh, you know, get some more of the backstory to get you excited for this one. But uh, I won't keep you up here too much longer. I know it's been a very long day. Uh, happy belated birthday Thank to you. you. Thank, Thank you, you. For, for being here with yeah. us and making this fight happen. Yocasa, muchas gracias. I appreciate you gracias. so much. Thank you. Gracias. Emiliano. Y pura vida. Pura vida. <laughs> Make sure you join us in Glendale, Arizona, Friday, March 29th. Tickets on sale at Ticketmaster. Um, join us there or watch exclusively in the U.S. on ESPN+. They're going to face off, y'all. Get your phones out. Get ready. Here we go. I'm Christina Poncher. Thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure to be here with you all. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Bob.
gotta come back.